Hi everyone. Today we'll talk about how Alex Pereira, the current UFC light heavyweight champion and a former UFC middleweight champion, applies Wing Chun techniques and concepts in MMA. Let's start by talking about the lead hook that he pulverizes everyone with. Not only does he perform it using a vertical fist, but he always connects with either one or all of the bottom three knuckles. Unlike most fighters, who usually aim to connect with the top two knuckles. Then his hooking motion, which is commonly called a shovel hook or a Mexican hook, is very similar to our beauty punch, which we initiate from right below the shoulder. In this example, you can see him initiate his attack with a jab using a vertical fist. Then he follows that up with his lead hook. And here, you can see him throw an uppercut like cross, also with the vertical fist. And then here, he's even in a semi-squared stance while he connects with a couple of vertical fists. There was a time not too long ago where punching with a vertical fist was seen as a big no-no but it's gained in popularity in recent years, and I think it's here to stay. People can argue all they want about who used it first, but with Wing Chun being over three and a half centuries old, you won't find too many styles out there that have adopted the vertical fist before us. Next, let's talk about his stance. He generally stands tall and upright, with slightly more weight on his back leg, and his feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart, which as you know, is very similar to what we do. The third way he applies Wing Chun in MMA is in the way he holds his guard up. Like more and more MMA fighters today, he holds his hands further away from his body than is commonly done in other combat sports. I've already addressed why this is important in my How to Block a Hook Punch video, so if you're interested, the link is in the description. Fourthly, he likes to keep an extended Pak Sao with either hand to seek the bridge, control centerline, hand fight, and parry, which are all things that we train to do in Chi Sao and Mai San Zhong. Fifthly, he uses Tan Ge to defend leg kicks. This really stood out to me because I haven't noticed anyone else in the UFC using it as consistently prior to him. Here, he even trips up Israel Arasanya with it, Sixthly, his leg kicks. Although not Wing Chun at all, they're the most Wing Chun-like roundhouse leg kicks you will ever see. What I mean is that, first, he uses very little arm swing to initiate the kick compared to a conventional leg kick, which means that there's nearly nothing to signal that the kick is coming. And second, he doesn't turn his hip over either, so he can more easily keep facing or return to facing his opponent whether his kick lands or misses. Seventhly, Yu Sao. Now I haven't noticed him doing this too often, but I did catch this Yu Sao he used. Here, his opponent throws a hook and misses, and Alex senses another hook coming and intercepts it with Yu Sao. Notice where he makes contact on the opponent's arm. He makes contact on the opponent's forearm, right above the wrist. Whether people like to admit it or not, more and more combat athletes at the highest levels are using Wing Chun concepts to gain an edge over their competitors. If you'd like to know how another UFC champion uses Wing Chun in MMA, click on this video right here and I'll catch you in the next one.